One of the bishops asked about what he termed as synodality, in other words, you know, the idea that, that we're using synods more, and the Pope spoke for quite a while on that, trying to help us understand that if it's a real synod, it, the only way it can be is if the Holy Spirit is at work and there's an honest effort at discernment, um, but that Otherwise, uh, it's, it's a meeting and it's, it's people sharing opinion and maybe research, but, um, but it's not necessarily a synod unless it's in some way governed by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He also clarified that uh, a synod is not a parliament in which uh, people take uh, uh, majority votes on a whole bunch of issues. And so in that sense, he kind of uh, uh, talked about his apostolic exhortation, which came out yesterday about on the Amazonia. He kind of expressed some, uh, not surprise, but uh, he expressed, uh, you know, that uh, some people were disappointed because it didn't address the issue of uh, viri privati or, or uh, married priest or things like that. And he said, you know, this, the Senate uh, was about the Amazon and was about, uh, about clergy. And he said that, uh, you know, that, that whole phrase took up maybe one line in the uh, instrumentum laboris, but it was a very peripheral issue. He said, you know, there are a lot of people who criticize it right away. And he must have read something because he did. He hinted that, you know, even in the paper, a journalist said the Pope has no courage, you know, coraggio, because, because he didn't follow through with what he said. He said, we were there to talk about the issues of the church in the Amazon. Other people wanted me to talk about celibacy. They made that the issue. That wasn't the issue of this, this synod. He said it would be sad if that's the one thing they focused on because they're not, they're not going to be happy. After he said that, you know, some people said that he was not courageous because he didn't follow through on, on this, what they were hoping, um, we all kind of said, you know, we get that too, constantly. For everything that we do, it seems, you're either right or you're wrong. You're, you're conservative, you're liberal, you know, and um, we didn't really talk about that. It would have been great, but it was clearly implied that, you know, it, we're not about polarization or in the midst of polarization, we must preach the gospel. We just courageously preach the gospel. It's going to happen. People line up, they take sides, but we have to, you know, it's Paul, woe to me if I don't preach the gospel of Jesus Christ.